Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Bee Reviews. Again, as per usual, when I say this, I got a special treat for you. I mean it. Check this out. I, uh, I bought a four pack of assorted Scottish historic ales. Now, if you were to look for it on LCBO.com, you'd be looking for historic Scottish ales. Uh, it comes in a four pack. I've already mentioned uh, two of two of the four beers on my reviews before. If you want to, if you want to see the box, the unveiling of the whole nine yards, uh, check out, um, check out my pine ale uh, beer review, or check out. Uh, my elderberry. Uh, one or the other will show you the box and the unveiling. So I don't have the box anymore. I just thought I'd let you know. Um, I'm going to be presenting to you today the Grosette Gooseberry Wheat Ale. Now, I'll tell you why this is special, okay? Every beer that I have had from this pack tastes like it's from out of this world, okay? I, I've had beers from all around the world, and for some reason, this these beers that are coming from Scotland actually completely taste different from any other type of beer that I've ever had before. So they're really, really special to me. Now, it says ale brewed with natural flavors. Um, it says that it's 5% ABV. It's a 330 milliliter bottle. Uh, it's a product of Scotland, like I said. And I'm just going to read you a brief little thing on the back here just to get let you understand what we're up to here. It says... Old Scots for, Bruce, for Gooseberry from the Celtic Grossade. Uh, since the 16th century, Scots monks and alewives have brewed special concoctions from a blend of malts with spice and ripe gooseberries. Bringing together these variation, sorry, these various ingredients in a beer, the brewer attempts to offer a drink which is refreshing, full of flavor, and pleasure to consume. Uh, amongst the Scots literati of the 19th century, the green gozette was immortalized as a most convi convivial drink. Best served chill, which is exactly what I did here. Um, the grosette may become slightly hazy once chilled due to a natural fruit and cereal, which is very cool to add on to your beer. Uh, special thanks to Glasgow School of Art for making this label design uh, project, sorry, a project for third year students. Label uh, based on first millennium Celtic maze design. So that is actually pretty cool now that they're talking about that. Um, as you can see, very cool. Um, just like all the other four beers, you got the same cap. It's, uh, it says William Williams Brothers Brewing Company product of produce of Scotland so check that out I don't really know what that looks like I don't know what the maybe it's a uh, I, I don't know I can just tell you that their beers are always good so uh oh there we go got a little lighter here I'm gonna pop it open for us done I didn't open very well I'm kind of worried about whether the beer is still good or not I haven't had any problems with about three or four of the four packs that I've bought already, so. Oh no! I think I was right. You see that? No carbonation. Oh, it's bad. Oh, what a letdown. Huge letdown. All right, that's a letdown. Got to shut her down. <laughs>